need to, to get a hay tether and tether the fields to dry out the hay. To get the hay tether, I need to get a trailer. Nobody in here, around here seems to want to rent the big uh, flat wood trailers, which is really what I need to move the hay tether on. Since the trailers that I can rent are all about uh, an eight by 10 or 10 by 12, we have a 10 by 12 out there. It's in the field because I got a flat tire and I unhooked it and left it, went to go do something else. It never came back to the trailer and it got overgrown with grass and I got scared to go over there because of snakes. I know it's a perfect snake hiding spot, um, but I'm gonna have to face my fears with that today. Uh, take the tire off, get the tire fixed, put it back on, haul it out of the field, go get the hay tether, bring the hay tether out and tether the fields. This is the tire on this, it's flat. What I might try and do is if I can get this thing to break free from the grass up there, I might try and just hook it up and, and tow it up onto a more clear surface to work. But this thing has been matted down in the grass for a year now. There we go. Got a hitch up there somewhere. That tire is so flat. I'm not sure how far I'm going to be able to get it. At least I can get it up into the horse paddock. I feel like I'll have a good shot at it. Oh. Yeah, this tire is going to be unrepairable. Got a pretty sizable gash in my sidewall there just ripped the thing right apart look at that stick my whole foot in there so i'm going to try and get this onto a more clean surface to fix it In these lug nuts. I've actually got the trailer still attached to the back of the truck and that's just to help keep it from trying to roll forward as I turn these because the tra trailer is not very heavy. You can see it trying to roll but the truck is holding it in place which allowed me to break those free. These are really old rusty lugs. I don't know when the last time I changed the tires on this were, but I'm guessing it was a long time because it's not something I do every day. Before I go to jack it up, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the ball of the truck. That'll just make it easier. So when you're, when you're jacking up a trailer, um, if you just try and jack it up and, it, and it's loose on the ground like this, I've, I detached it from the back of the truck, it's gonna try and lean and go uh, where you don't want it to go. I do need to get it high enough. Well, so what I would suggest you do is try and brace the front end and the back end. It's just a matter of uh, trying to, to get it so that it's not teetering on you while you're trying to change the tire. So I'm gonna lift this front end of the trailer up. And I'm gonna stick one of my jacks underneath that front side and lower it back down onto that stand. Okay.
Okay, so with the jack back here, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna take this jack and stick it on the other front side of the trailer. And hopefully what that'll do is as I lift the back corner of the trailer, it'll support the front and keep it from moving. Because as I push this down, if you watch, the trailer's gonna wanna lean towards that front right corner. And that's where I'm gonna lose some of my stability. Now as I continue this, the front side should sit down on that front jack. got the, the wheel completely off the ground and the trailer is relatively stable. If I had a third jack, I'd, I'd stand, I'd put it underneath that back right side, but I just need it jacked up enough to get the, get the wheel off. Now on the other side, I do have uh, something keeping the other wheel from rolling while I do this. That's important as well. Um, these trailers will tend to roll. Okay, so I've got all my lugs off. There's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Put those in a safe spot so you don't lose them. And then pull the tire off. Um, now this particular tire I caught on something pulling it into the pasture, ripped the tire wide open. This isn't something that I can fix myself. I'm gonna take it down to the shop and have to get a new tire, which kind of stinks because this had plenty of tread life left on it, but I don't really have a choice in the matter. But it's just real important that when you're jacking these up, you distribute the weight pretty evenly so that it, it, the trailer will stay stable av as it's jacked up. I, I showed you a quick video where I had put a jack stand on one side, the trailer still uh, shifted and rolled, and that's because the other side of the trailer was still unstable. So uh, what I did this last time was I put a jack stand on either side of the front end of the trailer, jacked it up from the back side, uh, obviously the wheel has something under it to keep it from turning and on the other side and that has given me the stability I need to work underneath this uh, safely. If you decide to do this yourself, keep that in mind. Trailers are very unstable when you're jacking them up. They're not super heavy, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be careful because if this thing fell on me, it would still hurt. It'd still be a pain in the butt to get it up off the ground. They didn't have any used tires, so I had to go with the cheapest new tire that they had, which was still about 80 bucks. I'm not pleased about that, but um, I mean, realistically, the tire on the other side of this trailer wasn't in bad shape, so it's probably best that I have two tires that are both in similar condition. Let's see if I can get these things on there. I'm going to spray those. 